Let's go through a brief history of President Obama Photoshop conspiracies. I really like this story. This uh, Media Matters put this together, and they did this after the White House put out a picture of President Obama skeet shooting at Camp David. And conservative bloggers, obviously, anybody could have predicted that this would happen, were starting to claim that the picture had been altered or it was created with Adobe Photoshop or some kind of graphics editing program. And this follows what now is a long and really bizarre tradition of conservative media saying that any really at this point, it's a broad range of pictures of President Obama have been fraudulent. So first we'll put up the skeet shooting picture. OK, and this picture was um, uh, immediately the uh, I don't even want to name them, but a number of different conservative blogs and media outlets started saying eh, this. This really just doesn't look right. Uh, one of the things that people said was wrong with this was that President Obama's wearing sunglasses instead of a baseball hat. And that typically you would wear if you're shooting, you would wear a baseball hat and not sunglasses to block the sunlight so that so the picture is, is edited. I mean, give me a break. If anything, it's poorly staged. But to say that it, that's an, that's evidence that the picture is a fraud. What the paranoid nature of some of these people, Lewis, is just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I mean, you would think that these are the people that want to use this picture uh, to their advantage. Right. I mean, here's Obama holding and shooting a gun. Right. I mean, shouldn't they just be posting this real authentic image all over the place and saying, look, guns are fine. Even here's the president shooting. You would think so. Yeah. Uh, then we have the President Obama birth certificate. You know about this one. We had so many analyses done of the birth certificate under hot lights and all sorts of different changes and, and modifications done with graphics editing programs. And more and more people uh, started to get on the bandwagon, including Sheriff Joe Arpaio was doing an investigation of the birth certificate and Donald Trump and so on and so forth. And of course, we have found absolutely no evidence that this was actually photoshopped. In fact, it just seems that it's President Obama's birth certificate. I think what we learn overall is that the people who are trying to take Obama down a peg can't really talk about his policies or uh, the policies of his administration because they don't really know much about it. Uh, they're, mis <laughs> they're misinformed. They don't educate themselves on these matters. So right. all they can really do is say, oh, here's a fake picture. Here's oh, a picture we think was edited. Here's a conspiracy theory. Uh, exactly. B fake birth certificate. Then we have these two pictures. Let's show the before and after. This is a picture of President Obama with family. This, these are the family member pictures. And this is one that is uh, President Obama with his grandparents sitting on a park bench in New York City. And there's the before and after people claiming that clearly it was uh, it, it was a modified picture. The real picture doesn't even have President Obama in there. And he was simply photoshopped in. Of course, it doesn't explain the disembodied right leg that is still in the after. But OK, maybe that's uh, something that I just am not uh, nuanced enough to understand. I don't really know. And then we have the situation room photos, the situation room photos, again, allegations that the photos were uh, created in order to this was around the, the assassination of Osama bin Laden. The allegation apparently was, if you buy into the logic, was that the photo was created to make it seem like President Obama was actually kind of leading the charge to uh, get Osama bin Laden. But the reality is Obama had nothing to do with it. And afterwards, they took some pictures and they pointed to. I don't know, like his jacket looked weird and there's something weird on his neck and different things. Very, very bizarre. And then the last one is President Obama throwing a football. Now, this is just incredible to me because why would you need some of these? You, if it's staged, it's staged. But why would you need to, to make the picture with Photoshop? It doesn't make any sense. The analysis here was that President Obama is inexplicably looking upwards in the picture when he's throwing the football. And that I guess that just doesn't make any sense and that there were pixels around his head and arms, little pixels, Lewis, that proved the picture was apparently a fraud. Hmm. Fascinating. So there's a brief history of Obama Photoshop conspiracies, by the way, with the skeet shooting thing. Why does it even matter if President Obama skeet shoots? I mean, I guess the idea would be the motive to fake the picture would be that Obama doesn't skeet shoot, but he wants to appear to have credibility on firearms because he is passing gun related legislation. And to all those people who are actually thinking that President Obama can't comment on gun legislation because if he doesn't shoot guns, I would say Bush and Cheney didn't go to war. Yet those same Republicans had absolutely no problem with those two guys making all sorts of decisions about warfare, leading to the deaths of thousands of American troops. That's OK, even though they didn't go to war. But if Obama hasn't gone skeet shooting, he can't talk about gun safety. It's, it's unbelievable. Right. Uh, I don't know. One more can I add to that? It's uh, 
It's pathetic. It's a sad state of affairs. Of course. Today is the last day for the David Pakman Show membership and hoodie birthday special. You've got just hours to go. DavidPakman.com slash 29. Not the number. Spell out the words. No hyphen. DavidPakman.com slash 29. You get a one-year membership and a hoodie of your choice at a great discount. We have the bonus show coming up. We'll talk about alchemy. We'll talk about King's Bones discovered under a parking lot and Chinese hackers hacking the New York Times for years now. Incredible stories. It's hosted by Lewis. Bonus show is just one membership benefit. DavidPakman.com slash 29. We'll take a break. We'll talk about a lot of other stuff, including a former Fox News reporter will join me to talk about what's it like working there. Stay with us. The David Pakman Show at DavidPakman.com. 